We're doing another dive here in Apo Island with Mike Beach Resort and with me is the CEO, President, Dive Master, uh, Janitor, Janitor <laughs> Chef, and Yaya. And Yaya of JM huh? here in Dumaguete and this is the beautiful uh, Apo Island. I think it's really a beautiful island. It's a gorgeous island. Mm -hmm. yeah. Volcanic, uh, very rugged, uh, beautiful looking. Correct me if I'm wrong, about 70 hectares, right? I think 74. 74 hectares. Mistaken. And with 3,000 people living on this island. 1,000. 1,000? 1,000, yeah. I, I think I should live here then. Huh? <laughs> 1,000 people <laughs> only. Huh? Yeah. So uh, maybe uh, property here must be very, very cheap. Huh? And uh, it's, it's a federal area, so it's protected, and there's very nothing else is for sale. Now. Those are the kogon, the okay? Grass, yeah, yes. the kogon grass. That's why they call it the kogon dive sign. That's right. I had to shoot it to make sure. Next time you come back, you have to be right in front of the kogon grass. Only if you're gonna do kogon. <laughs> if you wanna do kogon, yeah. And if you wanna do coconut, you're right in front of the coconut trees yeah. <laughs> on the corner dive. Huh? Yeah. And. Uh, with me here is a little boy named JM looking for some cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so instead of cookies, can I give you some nitrogen, JM? <laughs> well, well the, JM the here is the son of uh, Mike, who's just three years old. There, you can hear him talk. Tired. Oh, he's tired. Tired. Okay, so later we'll give you some cookies, JM. And I can see some some boat people trying to catch fish. And I hear, Mike, that only the local people on that island are allowed to catch fish. That's right. The only uh, residents of the island, mm. registered residents, can fish out there. Okay. And they're not allowed to spearfish, right? I, you know what? I've never seen anybody spearfishing. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, hook and line, um, fish traps, and surface nets. Okay. So That's fair enough. So uh, we've started already our dive and these are the starfish, abundant starfish here, so much of them, starfish with the crinoid. If you want to talk, oh, Mike, just uh -oh. talk and uh, this is the crown of thorns. You know, uh. let's educate you on how to dispose the crown of thorns. You know how to dispose <laughs> crown of thorns? Uh, intact. Uh, you take it out of the water. Mm, okay. Meaning because some people, they try to pinch the you know with the needle yeah. and the more they spawn yeah <clears throat> okay so you have to be careful you think you're doing somebody a great favor but you're not and look at this guy well the if, and fish. if you cut them cut it up into pieces they will grow each piece will grow into a new starfish oh really yeah huh? yes ah so if you cut an arm off it, it will grow again you know they say in australia they, they have this uh, some sort of um, injection they have to inject it for him to die ah. Hey, look at this. He's, he looks pregnant, this uh, pupper fish, huh? Yeah, and there's a cleaner on the other side. There. They also say that if you eat this fish, it becomes poisonous, huh? <laughs> there are some huh, that will kill you instantly. <laughs> look at that. Huh? That's uh, brain, brain coral and barrel coral sponges. sponges yeah. Oh, that's quite uh, a lot of uh, hard corals here, huh? Yeah, this is co co Kogan, huh? There's Kogan, Kogan. Kogan. You're uh, doing it the American way, huh? It's Kogon. Kogon. <laughs> Kogon in Filipino uh, language. Huh? Okay, so, wow, look at that. A crinoid on top of a barrel sponge. Huh? And back to the brain corals. So it looks like just mild current on this mm -hmm. dive, huh? Well, it's, you know, an easy dive uh, because we just came from coconut. We got so uh, uh, tired with the diving because. Uh, we had to fight a little bit because we had to go back to the boat and now we just want to do a relaxed dive. Okay. You went and back to the boat on coconut. Uh, well, uh, I think we missed one of the buoys. Um, okay, so uh, anyway, uh, we're still uh, enjoying the diving here. And you can see uh, there's not much current. And right in front of you uh, is the Titan. Titan, Titan, trigger fish. Look at yeah. that. Uh, look at the big teeth. Come on, show me, show me your teeth. And he oh, comes to you today. No, no. Yeah. no I'm waiting for him to uh, challenge me, but he seems he seems to be afraid. You know? He's relaxed today. Mm -hmm. 
But never do that, huh? If um, sometimes they're nesting, huh? They're going to they're going to chase you. They they're very aggressive and mm -hmm. they can inflict a lot of damage. Right. So they right, draw right. blood. They rip flesh. Yeah. Well, you're threatening me because I don't wear wetsuits, huh? so maybe I should start wearing wetsuits already. Yeah? <laughs> they'll bite right through it. <laughs> right, right. No, yeah, they'll bite through my skin because yeah. I'm not wearing wetsuits. Huh? Uh, these are the baslets. Normally, I see baslets are color orange. That's an angelfish, right? Yeah. And look at those baslets huh? with one Moorish idol trying to join the group. There's another. I love the Moorish idols, so we yeah. have plenty of those. Out Normally, the fish would. What were you saying, Jim? It's a Nemo fish, huh? Yes, you Where's want to Nemo? join us, huh? There's no Nemo there, Jim. Okay, Jim, here's the little boy, and uh, he's asking his father to give him some cookies, and uh, <laughs> Daddy wants we're to trying see. we're trying to educate him just to look at Nemo. Yeah, he wants to see Nemo also. Right, right, right. That's why Nemo is such an important fish for kids like JM because they really get amazed uh, when they see. Uh, well, the, you know, the amazing thing huh? about Nemo is that it really enlightened a lot of children to the ocean and uh, the different life that's there. And, um, you know, the kids are much more aware of what's going on underneath because of Nemo. And look uh, at this. The well, yeah. The oyster, right? Yeah. Nothing inside it. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know. I had nothing to do, so I just started taping it. Okay. You and didn't need it, though, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, uh, that was the, the third dive, so you just finished last. Right, right, right. right. So, um, you know, diving is really uh, a lot of fun because uh, it's only in scuba diving wherein, uh, you know, uh, nobody disturbs your peace of mind, no cell phones. No talking, talking, and uh, it's purely meditating and seeing beautiful things underwater. Right? That, yeah, that's the whole idea, right? Slow and easy, relaxed. Looks like she's nicely drifting along there, huh? Mm -hmm. Current's picking up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 that's what I notice here, no? The, uh, oh, no wonder, because the jacks are here. There's the jacks. So when jack. you have the current, sometimes you get some visitors, and these are pretty big jacks, huh? Yeah, there's a, a nice school. There's actually two schools of jacks there on uh, Kogan. Uh, Good two, two to three kilo jacks. Huh? <laughs> uh, at least, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you notice they always swim in pairs. Uh, uh, you see a lot of times the silver one and the black one, which is uh, when they're getting ready for mating. Mm -hmm. Look at them, huh? A lot of them, huh? Yeah. So um, the fishermen of Apo Island, maybe they respect the jacks here, huh? <laughs> You're not sure. <laughs> Usually in the restaurants on Apple Island, the specialty of the day is jackfish. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh? Well, <laughs> maybe maybe maybe, so if you, maybe if you catch one, it doesn't really matter so yeah, much. Well, huh? A few, yeah. Uh huh. And they're pelagics, huh? So they're they're coming and coming and going. I'm sure. Um, Did you ever have um, um, what they call this? Normally, you have the jacks and you have got the um, barracuda also. Do you have some barracudas here? We we have barracuda, not so many at Apple, but in Darwin. Ah. That way, Mayinet. We have uh, two big schools of barracuda. Wow. One greater barracuda, like a meter plus long, and mm -hmm. uh, another school of smaller ones, maybe maybe eighteen inches. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, James disturbing him because he wants to see a Nemo again. Where's Nemo, no, Jam? Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, that's the puffer fish, Jam. Fish, Don't yeah. disturb Papa. So you know, uh, he's getting irritated because uh, he only wants to see Nemo. Yes, Jam. Later, when we see Nemo, we're gonna call you. And you're going to see your friend Nemo. Who's that dive in there? Huh? Uh, that's your dive master, I guess. Okay. That's, uh, that's J.M.'s uncle. J.M.'s uncle? Oh, wow. Well, uh, your uncle J.M. Um, is a very good dive master. And uh, he can really give us a very good briefing. That's why... The diving is really a success here. Looks like current coming in again. Right, 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 yeah. right. You know, sometimes it stops and go, you know. Yeah, it always should cut. Well, they look at that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It pulses. You'd be flying and then slowly and then flying again. Uh, that's part of the thrill. You never know quite what it's going to do next.
Well, as a matter of fact, look at that, uh, look at that guy there, your dive master. Yeah. Uh, he's just drifting with the current. Yeah, that looks nice and slow. Now you notice the the white edges on the coral. Mm-hmm. Uh, coral bleaching, huh? Ah, wow. Really? So uh, due to the warm water, we're starting to see a little bit more of this in the area. Darwin has a significant amount, mm -hmm. uh, a few percent, but Apple Island just showing a little bit. So you know, I like this shot. Uh, first time to see uh, leatherback coral on top of a uh, brain coral. Yeah. Well, this is not the end of the oh, dive there, yet. Yeah. I think we missed the boat, so uh, because uh, it was a drift dive, so mm -hmm. we said, okay, let's go again. Keep going. And uh, here, we're seeing again my favorite, the leatherback. And also one of my favorite, uh, those table corals. Imagine, if you were to throw an anchor on those table coral. Well, that's just crumble. <laughs> you, in yeah, yeah, instance, you huh? just feel bad. That's yeah. why uh, they charge a lot of sanctuaries here. And they make sure that uh, each and every boat will have to follow all the rules. Huh? Yep. That's uh, very important. No, There's no anchoring in any of the dive areas here. Use uh, mooring buoys only. You know, that's really good. Uh, would you know a penalty for that, just in case uh, <laughs> they forget that they, they had to do it? Well, in Darwin it's, and Apple, it's quite significant, the penalty. So we'd like to thank again uh, Mike Bichasort for hosting our trip to Dumaguete. Thank you very much, Mike. Okay, thanks for coming.